How are y'all doing today? Look, it's Curiosity. Hey, guys. I noticed that you read a new story yesterday. Yes, Curiosity. Do y'all remember the story we read yesterday? It was called Bunny Cakes. And Curiosity noticed something on the cover of the story. Yeah, I noticed um, a special cup. A special cup? Oh, Curiosity must be talking about the measuring cup. Yeah, um, I have a measuring cup. You do? Where is it at, Curiosity? Let me go get it. Oh, that is a measuring cup, Curiosity. What do you use that measuring cup for? Um, I use it when I am um, making something with a recipe. Oh, just like in the story. When Max and Ruby made their cakes, Ruby used a measuring cup to measure um, an ingredient for her cake. Did Max use a measuring cup? No, he made his earthworm cake outside. But Ruby, she used a measuring cup to measure her ingredients to make her cake. So sometimes we use measuring tools to measure different things. Yeah, I remember when we measured our bodies. Oh, that's right, Curiosity. Well, did we use a measuring cup to measure our bodies? No. What did we use at school to measure our bodies? Do you remember? I have some pictures of things that we used to measure our bodies. When we measure our bodies or we measure objects, we want to measure to see how long or how short or how tall things are. So, we've used our giraffe in our classroom to measure our bodies to see how tall we are. We've used tape measures to see how long or how short things are. In the science center, we have a tape measure. We've used rulers before to measure objects to see if they're long or short. And we've even used different things in our classroom like cubes. We've used candy to measure. There are lots of things that we can use to measure our bodies. And those are tools that measure length. Yeah, and um, you know, I go to the doctor and, and they measure me at the doctor too. Oh, they do, Curiosity. Well, do they measure to see how tall you are? something weighs and we've used these tools at school before we used a balance scale this one is a pan balance scale remember when we measured apples and pumpkins to see which ones weighed more which ones weighed less which ones were heavy which ones were light this is another balance scale we have one of those in the science center and this must be what Curiosity is talking about. This is the scale that we get on to weigh our bodies to see if we are heavy or light. And as we get older, our bodies are going to get heavier because we're going to get bigger. So we've measured length. We've measured weight. And hmm, now we have to figure out what it's called when we use measuring cup. You know what that's called? When we use measuring cups, we're measuring the volume of something, how much something holds. And we can also use measuring spoons. We can use bowls and cups 
to see which holds more and which holds less. And these tools are important when we make things, when we use recipes, because if we don't put just the right amount, our food may not come out the way we want it to. So these tools are important to measure volume, okay? Well, I want to practice measuring volume. Oh, well, guess what? Today we're going to play a fun game, and you can play at home. It's really easy. For this game, you need measuring cups, which you can probably find in your kitchen, and some other um, containers, like maybe a cup that you drink out of. Um, this one is a little bucket. It's a little bigger. Maybe you have something like that. And then this one is like a little pan. So something that you may have in your kitchen that you can use for measuring. So today we are going to measure with water. But you could measure using things around the house. Like you could go outside and you could um, measure with um, some dirt. Maybe if you have a dirt pile in your backyard. Or sand if you have a sandbox. Or you could go outside and get some water out of the hose pipe. Or you know what? This would be so much fun to do in the bathtub. Because guess what? You have a whole bathtub full of water. You could put your measuring cups in there with you and some different containers. And you could practice measuring in the bathtub. Isn't that cool? So here are some little questions that will get you started playing this game. And it's just questions that get your brain thinking and get your brain stretching and ready for kindergarten, okay? So let's see what the first question says. It says, can you feel the one cup? So you have to look for your measuring cup that says one cup using the third cup. So can you use this size cup to feel this size cup? What do you think? This one's smaller, so do you think we can put a few of these in this one? How many do you think are going to fit? You can always make a prediction before you actually use your measuring cups, and then you can see if your prediction was correct. A prediction, remember, is just what you think. All right, so I'm going to hold my one cup in one hand, and I'm going to hold my third of a cup in the other hand. And I want to see how many of these are going to fit into this one. And remember, I'm using water, but you can use something else if you'd like. Now, when you measure, you have to make sure that your water goes all the way to the top so your measurement is correct. So let's count and see how many fit in here. Ready? One. Two. And when it gets to the top, you have to stop. So three of these fit into this one. So which one holds more? The bigger one holds more. And which one holds less? The smaller one holds less. All right, let's see what our next question says. Can you feel the bucket? Using the fourth of a cup. Oh, now look at this. That bucket's pretty big. How many of these fourth of a cup do you think are going to fit into the bucket? Oh, it's going to take quite a few. Are you ready to help me count? Let's see how many fit inside. One. Two. Three, and I'm making sure that my water is all the way to the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's only about halfway full. I have to keep going. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
20. Now my bucket has made it all the way to the top, you see? Now I can dump it back out. So it took 20 fourth of a cup to fit into this bucket. Whoops. All right, y'all ready for another one? Ooh, this victim's about to knock them down. Oh, this one says, which holds less? The dish or a half of a cup? Oh, this one's kind of tricky. What do y'all think? Which one do you think holds less? The red pan? The yellow cup? Half a cup? Hmm, you ready to try it out? It says use the eighth of a cup to find out. Ooh, so we're gonna put these out in front. Let's move these. We're gonna have to scoot them back so you can see them. Okay, and we're going to use an eighth of a cup, which is a small cup, and we're going to see how many fit into the red pan and how many fit into the half a cup. And so we know the one that has the smaller number is going to be the container that holds less. Okay, the one with the bigger number is going to hold more. Are you ready to help me count? Did you make your prediction? Which one do you think is gonna hold less? Let's find out. Okay, we're gonna do the pan first. Let's see how many of the pan's gonna hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. So the pan holds nine of these eighth of a cup, okay? All right, now let's see how many this one's gonna hold. Remember, nine. Let's see how many this one's gonna hold. One, two, three, Four. Oh, I might be able to fit one more. Let me see. Five. So this one held nine. This one held five. Which number is smaller? Nine or five? Five is smaller. So this container holds less. This container holds more. Okay. So we're going to pour our water back in our bowl. This is fun, isn't it? Oh, I love measuring with measuring cups and with our containers also. I like to see how much they hold. All right. So now we're going to use our cup. It says, can one cup fit into the dish. Hmm, now that one might be a little tricky too. Let's see, what do you think? Can one cup fit into the dish? Now this one is taller, but look, this one is bigger around. Hmm, what do you think? Do you think that one of these cups will fit into this pan? Make your prediction. Now let's find out. So we're gonna fill up the cup with water and we're gonna see if it fits in the pan. I gotta fill my cup all the way to the top. Make sure that the water is all the way to the top. I might even have to use one of these little cups to make sure it's all the way to the top. There we go. All right, you ready to see? It did! Did you think that was gonna happen? All of the water that was in this cup fit into this pan. Remember I told you it was kind of tricky. Just because this one is short did not mean that it wasn't gonna hold it all. It's bigger around. 
than this car. Mm, so you see, when you do experiments, sometimes you figure out things that you didn't think were possible. That's why we keep doing them. It's fun to keep trying different things, isn't it? All right, we have one more. Let's put our water back. All right, now we wanna figure out which hold more. So we found out which held less. Now we're gonna do which holds more, the paint cup or the one cup. Ooh, that one might be kind of tricky. You see? Oops, still had a little bit of water left in there. Mm, what do y'all think? Which one do you think is going to hold more? The green cup or the yellow one cup measuring cup? It says use the third of a cup to find out. So we're going to see how many of these fit in here and how many of these fit in here. And the one that has the bigger number is going to be the one that holds more. Okay, you ready? Let's see. One. Help me count. Two. Three. Okay, so this one holds three. Remember that number, three. Let's see how many this one's going to hold. Do you think it's going to hold more than three? One. Two. Three, four, hmm, I don't think it's going to hold another one. So it holds four and a little bit, but we're going to say four. So this one holds three and this one holds four. So which one holds more? <gasps> the green cup holds more more and the yellow cup holds less. Well, those are all the questions that I have, but guess what? You can keep going and you can come up with your own questions. Maybe you want to play with your, um, your brothers, your sisters, your mom, your dad, whoever you're staying with right now, and y'all can come up with your own questions and keep playing this fun game. We're going to be playing some more measuring games um, maybe next week. So, Join me again. I'll see you later, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.